when I'm thinking about this universe expanding, like, look, think about the football, okay? So football have a black, white, black, white, black, white, and a round ball. Now, think about it expanding like this 10, 10 to the degree 100 times, okay? This 10 to the degree 100, usually we write more zeros there, but it depends on the model. Now, so what happens is then black territory becomes black and huge. So the person living on the block, he will looks around, around and he will see, I'm in the black universe, universe is everywhere black. Let me try to explain why universe must be black, okay? Because otherwise, these are my experimental data. But this is a part of the football. So another guy who is living on white, he will see himself surrounded by white and he will be trying to explain why the universe must be white because the only thing that he sees is white and black is somewhere exponentially far away. He has no experimental idea what it is there. So now what we have right now is a, like what I call cosmopolitan perspective. Some live in black, some live in white and that's just fine. Now, what inflation therefore does it is first moment when you start thinking, actually, maybe uh, Einstein wanted something more than we actually can give him because he was exp uh, trying to explain why the universe must be everywhere white. And then I see that in this simple picture is not necessarily. And then we start studying these quantum fluctuations which are produced during inflation, produce these galaxies. And we have seen that in some parts of the universe, these quantum fluctuations tend to create another, again, new stage of, of exponential expansion, new inflationary universe. And then if this new inflationary universe can have different properties of our, from ours, it may or may not once, depending on the theory which we study. But if it can, then you have if you, even if you start with one white universe, it starts producing black universes. If you have many options, it will produce white, black, green, blue, whatever. And then we start thinking, okay, so how many different you may produce? And until approximately 2003, when I was working on it and Alan was working and Alex Vilenkin was working and some other colleagues, when we were talking about it, other people say, nope. This is just nonsense because who needs it? We have one universe, one is enough, don't do it. 